Here at Wonderstruck, we like to keep it real. We like to answer the questions that are important to our viewers on an everyday basis. And the question we'd like to address today is, can you make a rocket out of meat? Now the idea of a meat rocket came about a few years ago when we were working with sugar and potassium chlorate building little candy rockets uh, and we started to think well could you actually use other types of food stuff as the fuel for a rocket. Uh, so we experimented by mixing various minced meats, so minced beef, minced pork, etc., with potassium chlorate. Now, unfortunately, the results weren't brilliant. They, it did burn, but it was very sporadic, and there was no way it was ever going to lift anything off the ground. So we didn't even bother to video the results. Now, just recently, we started to think about this again, because we have got within our arsenal of scientific equipment one of these. Now uh, you may have seen our other video which shows how this works but this is a small model hybrid rocket motor and it actually works by uh, admitting high pressure oxygen through this hose which then travels through a hole which is drilled through this acrylic rod. Now the acrylic, obviously it's hydroplastic, is the fuel. So once the oxygen is flowing through the centre we ignite it and the acrylic burns from the inside out producing a nice rocket exhaust which comes out here. Now to be honest this doesn't produce much thrust, not even enough to move it along the bench of its own accord because it's just a demonstration model, we just use it for shows and things like that. But we thought this could be the ideal test bed for a meat oxygen hybrid rocket. The only problem we had was finding some cylindrical meat. Now, after some discussion, we obviously settled on the idea of a sausage. Now, in the UK, sausages are a bit soft and floppy. So we had to travel far abroad to find the correct type of sausage. And eventually, we settled on the mighty Spanish chorizo. Now, as you can see, this is quite a firm sausage. It's quite thick, so it should fit into our motor with a minimum of modification. In fact, probably all we'll have to do is drill a hole through the centre so the oxygen can flow through it, and then we should be ready to test it. Right, we're not going to be too precise about this. I've just lined this up so it looks like it's roughly in the centre, and let's start drilling. <laughs> Fantastic, we've got a perfect hole through the centre of our chorizo, so now it's just ready to mount into the motor and test. So the first thing we need to do is to fit the chorizo fuel rod into the rocket. So here we go. We need to make sure it's nice and tight, so we've got a good seal for the oxygen. There we go, I think we're ready to test. Right, here we are all set up and ready to go. Now, um, I suspect the chorizo is gonna be a bit difficult to actually ignite. So what I've done is I've put a piece of pyro fuse up through the center of it, and we're gonna try and use that to set it off to start with. So here we go. Right, and we'll just let that burn into the chorizo and then we'll start the oxygen flowing through.
cable is actually on fire, I think we should stop. Right, well I'd say our, our meat rocket was a great success. Now, I'm not particularly sure about the specific impulse or anything like that, but um, I certainly think it's a lot tastier than something like uh, hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene. Mm, not bad for rocket fuel.